subscribe ecofan for more educational videos welcome learners today we are going to discuss about the environmental impacts of dams so as we know the dams have been built on rivers as early as 1500 AD they are mainly constructed to control floods store large amount of water supply water for irrigation and domestic use and check the soil erosion so later on dam dams were used to run water wheels and more recently to generate the hydroelectric power so these were the main reasons why the dams were constructed so the dams are often regarded as a symbol of national developments so the country having large number of dams will definitely have large amount of water storage hydroelectric stream generation and definitely the country will have more water for the irrigation purpose so these have tremendous potential for economic upliftment of the country what i have discussed earlier it uh, generates power it uh, provides electricity and water storage in a drought like situations so they are helpful in achieving self reliance and improving the standard of living in a country uh, the dams were thereof described in india temples of modern india by pandit jawahar lal nehru the first prime minister of india so as we know the dams are structure built across river or stream to hold back water so people have used different materials to build dams over the centuries ancient dams uh, builders used natural materials such as rocks or clay uh, to fulfill their needs at that time so modern day dams uh, are built uh, more often by the use of concrete so man made dams create uh, artificial lakes which we call reservoirs so before discussing what are the environmental impacts of the dams let us have a brief discussion about the benefits that we derive from the dams <clears throat> first is the economic upliftment and growth of country so more power generation more economic upliftment providing the uh, employment to the local people control of floods checking the soil erosion provide water for irrigation and drinking purpose generate electricity provide inland navigation recreational and development of fishery so besides having such kind of <clears throat> the positive impacts on the growth and development of the country dams have the environmental consequences the first one is it blocks the fish migration so the environmental consequences of large dams are numerous and varied and includes direct impact to the biological chemical physical properties of rivers and riparian that is the stream side environments of the rivers so the dam wall itself blocks the fish migration the first environmental consequence it blocks the fish migration which in some cases and with some species completely separate spawning habitat from rearing habitat so the dam also traps sediments which are critical for maintaining physical processes and habitats downstream of the dam including the maintenance of the productive deltas barrier islands fertile flood plains and coastal wetlands so in nowadays uh, dams a fish ladder is constructed so that can uh, help the fishes to migrate their spawning habitat so definitely there have been much work done on this but overall it has some impact on the uh, fish population or habitat uh, I, i mean to say it is kind of habitat fragmentation so the another significant and obvious impact 
is the transformation upstream of the dams from a free flowing river ecosystem to an artificial sleek water reservoir habitat changes in temperature chemical composition dissolved oxygen levels and and the physical properties of rivers are often not suitable to the aquatic plants and animals that evolved within a given river system indeed reservoirs often host non native uh, and invasive species like snails algae predatory fishes that further undermine the river's natural communities of plants and animals another one is the alteration of environmental flow uh, or the river flow uh, and sediment transportation downstream of a river often causes the greater greatest sustained environmental impacts life in and around a river uh, evolves and is conditioned on the timing and quantities of river flows disrupted and altered water flow can be as severe as completely dewatering uh, river reaches and the life they contain yet even uh, subtle changes in the quantity and timing of river flows impact aquatic and riparian life which can unveil the ecological web of an ecosystem a river ecosystem a dam also holds back sediments <clears throat> that hold naturally replenish downstream ecosystems when a river is uh, deprived of its sediment load it seeks to re recapture it by eroding the downstream bed or banks which can undermine the bridges and other uh, riverbank structures as well as riverside woodlands so riverbeds downstream of the rivers are typically eroded by several meters within the decade of the first closing a dam the damage can extend for the tens or even hundreds of kilometers below a dam so riverbed deepening or incising will also lower the groundwater tables along a river lowering the water table accessible to plant roots and human communities drawing water from the wells and altering the riverbed also reduces habitat for fish that spawn within the river bottoms and for invertebrates another one is in aggregate damming river also have impacted processes in uh, the broader biosphere most relevant especially especially those in the tropics are significant contributors to the greenhouse gases so when there is a damming uh, the organic material it gets uh, decomposed under anaerobic conditions and we know there is incomplete decomposition and it can lead to the uh, generation of greenhouse gases like the methane a recent study plotted global uh, greenhouse gas emission from the reservoirs on par with the, that of aviation industry uh, about 4% of human caused greenhouse gases so greenhouse gas contribution from the rivers uh, or the reservoirs or the dams is much more as compared to other ecosystems if we talk about the agriculture paddy ecosystem where the water is stagnant for a period of time it also leads to the greenhouse gas emission so these were all the impacts of the uh, or consequences of the dams besides it leads to the displacement of the tribal population so uh, it uh, can in other uh, way leads to the uh i mean the habitat uh, displacement for the tribal peoples so overall when we study the dams we take benefits as well as problems side by side so besides all the these consequences there is a chances of the flash floods in case of the dam wall is not uh, earthquake prone or earthquake resistant it can lead to flash floods by the seismic activity of the or the vibration of the earth's crust 
it can lead to the breakage of the wall of the dam and can lead to the flash floods and certainly it can cause the damage to the downstream uh, riparian areas so these were all the <clears throat> consequences of the environmental consequences of the uh, dams i hope you all enjoy thank you